Welcome! I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Right, this is my card in three. Uh, this is what we're playing. Blast ye scurvy dogs! Uh, we blast the scurvy dogs. No, um... Right, this is a point and click adventure game, so... Point things and kick them. Uh, right, this just explain this. The day. Shut up. Um, the hand represents using your hands or feet or physically touching something. Um, so interacting in that way. Eyes, what the eyes can do, like looking at it, I guess. Um, mouth, uh, eat it, you drink speak to it, water, uh, blow on it, um, whatever the mouth does. Uh, so in this case we're gonna grab this long whatever it's called the rod. I'm not sure if it actually is, but it's a type of rod. And then we're gonna speak to this guy, the Let's small pirate. See if you can take this. Stand your distance. We're standing. Uh, I'm Guybrush uh, freaking uh, Threepwood. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose. The wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. You, uh, you sound pretty tough, there, buddy. You sound pretty tough. Oh, I'm so tough. In junior high, I stuffed Davy Jones in his locker. Oh. How tough are you again? Oh, I'm so tough, I could survive being flogged with a cat of nine tails for half an hour. Or... Three cats of five tails for 18 minutes. How tough are you again? I'm so tough I heard, um, I drink milk straight from the carton. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> well, I'm pretty tough myself. You don't make me laugh. You couldn't even grow a decent beard. Hey. How did you know about my attempted beard? Uh, pirate's intuition. Is that a real eye patch? I sure it be real. Then why are you wearing a monocle underneath it? It keeps the dust out of me eye socket. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audiobooks on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. We're not going to ask him how. I'm not in the mood for sales hype. Here. At least take this literature. You may change your mind. Oh, Kiriki. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. What's behind that door? Ooh! That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. Um... Snap there. out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you and I'll do you in. <clears throat> uh, huh. Peep seems appropriate. Peep. Yes, Gabra Swab. One more word and I'll let you have it. Oh, why not? Word. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> 
Oh, I can't do it. I just can't. Oh. You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Oh, there, there. We're gonna get. We're gonna pick up the plastic hook to begin with, and then we're gonna fire the cannon. Let's try and get a perfect score. Oi! You can't get a flash there, pal. Well, there goes that perfect score. It's actually not that easy to. Uh, like, um, uh, shoot this. It looks really easy, but it's, um, there's no real aiming system. You just kind of have a guess which height. And bam. Hey, I'm easy getting pretty good easy, at this. I guess. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> well, we're gonna look out on that bones and stuff. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Well, they messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> if I could just get my hands on that gunner. If I could just get my hands on huh? Okay, okay. Uh, Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride. All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. Oh. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. Ooh. Was your mother's father bald, too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. Well, at least now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. And accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. And I look good in hats. There you go. I'm going now. Good. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> okay, okay, we are gonna use this on Ma, that. Well, I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. Hey, that's my arm. Give that back. And for the fun of it, we're gonna push At this guy I over as well. Weight. But okay, and back in. And stop crying. We picked up a sword. We're gonna use this sword to chop this thing. The rope this thing. What? Haha! Taste cold steel, people can in restraint rope. Okay, okay, and then we're gonna fire the can. Very simple. And that's hopefully gonna Well you can see. Oh, yeah. Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world! <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Neptune's navel! That was a close one! my cutlass when the ship capsized. 
Okay, okay. Um, the first thing you do here, well, this is the treasure hold. Uh, there's actually not that much treasure in here. If you consider, like, this is what is... Because this guy's lived for a long, long time. Uh, like, he's dead and he's been reincarnated. Uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty old and this is all the gold he's ever collected and or all the treasure total, like, period. Um, we're going to pick up this bag. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. <laughs> and pick up the ring. And then use the ring on the window because of the... What's it called? Porthole. Use the ring on the porthole uh, because there's nothing else to do right here. It's just we need that bag of nickels and the ring. And we float to safety. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. <laughs> um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush. I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler. A rogue. A wanderer. A man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow something always Guy brush, me. stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some <laughs> ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, i got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal <laughs> place on this island that's prattle safe. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Uh... Oh no! Elaine? She's not gonna be happy about this. No, she's not. Um, okay, this is the game. Um, she's turned into gold, and basically the aim, uh, aim of the game is to turn her back into a human. Uh, but there's, uh, there's a lot to do before you can do that. And um, you go to different islands, and I mean, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but uh, there's a lot you have to do, and there's a lot of stuff that happens. It's a really funny game. Um, it's, uh, it's not, I mean, it's, it's funny in a kind of childish way, but it's not too childish not to be funny to adults. So it's, it's a good type of humor, I think. Um, and we are going to cut the video off here. Um, but be sure to watch, um, uh, uh, the next video. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>